Meanwhile, back in the city, under urban renewal, the assault on freedom carries on. Private property rights so diluted that public interest is almost anything a few government planners decide it should be. In a program that takes from the needy and gives to the greedy, we see such spectacles as in Cleveland, Ohio, a million and a half dollar building completed only three years ago must be destroyed to make way for what government officials call a more compatible use of the land. The president tells us he's now going to start building public housing units in the thousands, where heretofore we've only built them in the hundreds. But FHA and the Veterans Administration tell us they have 120,000 housing units they've taken back through mortgage foreclosure. For three decades, we've sought to solve the problems of unemployment through government planning. And the more the plans fail, the more the planners plan. The latest is the Area Redevelopment Agency. They've just declared Rice County, Kansas, a depressed area. Rice County, Kansas has 200 oil wells and the 14,000 people there have over $30 million on deposit in personal savings in their banks. January 6, 2021 was for some a watershed moment for the rise of the reactionary right. With the rolling back of voting rights, mainly for people of color, gerrymandering voting districts, and an assault on women's reproductive and trans rights, how does the GOP continue to wield so much power as a political minority? We'll ask these questions and more. This is Revolution. I don't know just why they wanted to call this a confession. I. I certainly don't feel guilty about being a Republican. I've always been a Republican. My father is, his father was. The whole family is a Republican family. I voted for Dwight Eisenhower the first time I ever voted. I voted for Nixon the last time. But when we come to Senator Goldwater, now it seems to me we're up against a, a very different kind of a man. This man scares me. Now, maybe I'm wrong. A friend of mine has said to me, listen, just because uh, a man sounds a little irresponsible during a campaign doesn't mean he's going to act irresponsibly. You know that theory that the White House makes the man. I don't buy that. You know what I think makes a president? I mean, aside from his, his judgment, his experience, are the men behind him, his, 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 uh, his advisors, the cabinet. And so many men with Strange ideas are, are working for Goldwater. You, you hear a lot about what these guys are against. They seem to be against just about everything, but what are they for? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe on your way out. You can catch the live stream of This Is Revolution every Tuesday through Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time and Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. This is Revolution. Revolution.